This is a weird area for me to be in, but let me explain. Alright, so welcome back to Book It. Um, if you're new here, this looks normal. If you're not new here, you probably realize I'm not in my normal spot. Also, ignore my kitchen's a mess. But um, my laptop has decided to just stop working. Don't know what's wrong with it. Don't know how to fix it. Um, I have to take it to somebody. It's very obnoxious. But usually I sit on my couch. I have my laptop next to me with all my notes and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't do that since my laptop won't even like turn on. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting at my like my actual computer right now. So I have like my notes and stuff. But today we are going to be going over Wicked Beauty by Katie Robert. If you follow my channel at all, you might have noticed that I already, I posted that I got Radiant Sin. Um, I posted that today, but this video won't come out until like next week. So by then I should have already read it. Hopefully I've already read it and I'm like reviewing it. So, um, but yes, we're going to talk about the third series. This is the Dark Olympus series. We already had Neon God and Electric Love just came out yesterday, my time, not your time, last week, your time, whatever. Um, but this is the third one. So the first two followed Hades and Persephone and then Eros and Psyche. This one is a little bit different because it follows um, not Demeter's children anymore. So we're not following any of her kids right now. We're following, um... oh, okay. This follows the lives of Helen um, of Troy, obviously, Achilles, and oh my god, I'm gonna mess this up, Patroclus? I'm not even gonna try to say the name because um, I always mess it up anyway. But basically, um, this is about them three and their different love story. Um, so we're stepping away from Demeter and her children, we're stepping away from, you know, Hades and the underworld and the morally gray characters and we're going to fall we're going to follow these three so basically Helena Troy is about to be married off um to whoever wins this like contest basically it's like a big like um like fight basically like all these people are stepping forward they want to fight for her love whatever um and she decides that she's not going to sit back and just be like a damsel in distress that she wants to fight too um which is not this is not like a thing like you're not supposed to do that um but she steps up so she ends up going into like you know the arenas um and you know the winner of this contest gets helen and like the crown and they get all this respect and all stuff since she doesn't want that she wants to own herself she doesn't want a man to own her she decides to fight for her own honor um we see helen and achilles um achilles and his well they're not together because they're friends. They're friends that like to hook up. Um, they basically enter this competition together with the goal that they're going to make Achilles the winner. Achilles is going to win overall. This is what he wants, whatever. Um, as we move on, we see that Achilles and Helen become um, interested in one another, which really pisses his partner off. Um, I literally need to figure out how to say this word. Like I'm, it's actually gonna drive me crazy if I don't figure out how to say this word. Pronunciation, that's what I need, okay. Oh crap, I have my headphones on. Hello? It says that it's saying it, but there's nothing coming out. Patrolus? Patroclius. Patroclius. This is not helpful in the slightest. I thought this was supposed to help me. It's just, I think he's saying it different every time just to like piss me off. No, that's, I, that's how to say Aphrodite. I don't even know how to say Aphrodite. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Yes. Patroclus? Patroclus. Okay, Patroclus. I can do that. It was literally like giving me like a whole rundown of like the Iliad. Like I don't need that, I just need to know. Patroclus, okay. So Patroclus and Achilles are lovers, but they're not supposed to be together. Their goal is to make Achilles win overall. Okay, now, I'm, now we're back on the same page. Um, so the two of them realize that the three of them, they have to share a dorm basically. Um, and that's when the relationship between Patroclus and Helen start. So basically Helen's just like hooking up with both of them. But like girl power, get a girlfriend. Um, and then as the trials start, as the trials start to take place, um, the three begin a poly relationship um, where they all like, you know, love each other. And you know, but the goal is still to like let Achilles win overall. Um, but Helen wants to win. So it's kind of like a power struggle between those two. Cause like Patroclus is like, I just, I'm just here to help. And Achilles is like, why well, I want to win. And Helen's like, no, I want to fight, fight for my own honor, which is totally understandable. Um, this book has a lot of smut, a lot. Um, there is a lot of different scenes. There are scenes where it's just like Patroclus and Achilles, Achilles and Helen, Helen, Patroclus. There's literally like so many scenes. Um, some with all three of them. And I think that this had more scenes, this had more sex scenes than the first two books because I felt like every chapter there was like at least somebody doing something to someone else, um, which is kind of cool. So I did, oh. I said, while I say that, I did prefer the first two books compared to this one. No, like I was saying, um, these books are good, but like when they have like emotion and stuff, but I felt like this one just had like too many, like there's too many things to keep track of. Um, I also wanna backtrack for a second because I realized, um, I didn't mention this at the beginning. So Helen is the sister of Zeus and her father was Zeus before passing that down. And then whoever wins the competition gets the title of Ares, which is God of War. Um, I thought I would like put that out there because I completely forgot. That's why Achilles wants it so bad. He wants to be the, he wants to become Ares. Um, so they end up going through all these trials and stuff like that. They make it to the very end. At the very end, um, Helen, Patroclus, and Achilles get into a big fight, and um, Helen ends up very badly hurt and in the hospital, um, but does end up like winning. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then obviously, you know, the two of the two boys come to her and they all talk and they decide like, oh, they're going to be together and a happy, like, oh, it's so cute. Um, which is very cool. I liked the way that like they had like, cause like every book like this in the series has like where they get together and then there's like something big happens and they're like about to break up. Like it's about to be completely over. They're done. And then they're brought back together in some way and i like the way that this happened it was like she got like hurt and they were like we're not talking to her but then they decided to like swallow their pride basically and like go tell her that they love her and they want to be with her and like oh cute um so while i liked this book a lot i thought it was really good i do want to say that i felt like helen was like overshadowed a lot in the book like i get that she's supposed to be like but she She's supposed to be the strong female lead, right? Like she's the strong lead that wants to like fight for herself, do her own thing. She doesn't want anyone to own her and she wants to be Aries. Totally get that. But I feel like throughout the book, she's literally overshadowed by her own sexual advances. Like it focuses more on that than it does on like her actual like becoming of like a stronger person. And I understand this is a smut book. I get that 100%, but Kate, Katie Roberts building this world, this whole world of many different um, Greek gods and their stories and all this stuff. And it does irritate me a little bit when we don't get exactly that. Um, because like, while yes, the smut, mwah, 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 12 out of 10, love it. Um, the actual like plot is kind of missing, which in some books that are smutty, there's no plot. We don't care about the plot. Um, some of those would be like Willow Winters books. Um, I'm about to get the Discreet series. But by the way, she talks about it. She's like, oh, like this is a small time romance, but like literally just like sex. Totally fine. 
totally fine um but katie's trying to build this world of like more than just that and she's trying to have like a storyline which i completely get completely understand i love i'm excited for it but at the same point i'm like if you're going to do that you have to make sure that like it falls into that and i just felt like in this book helen was like overlooked a lot and like a lot of her character development was like there but it was hidden under the numerous smutty scenes totally fine with that though um but that was just in my notes of like a negative that i didn't like but overall um smut five out of five literally a smutty book we love that um and then overall the book is a four out of five um i i thought that the other two were better um i like this one a lot but i am excited to read the next one um which i actually have right here so um but yes i also do like that in the front of all these books they have like a photo um i didn't realize that i don't think it's in the first two i know it's in this one that's radiant sins and then this one's the wicked beauty one let me grab the other one and see if those those are a part of it because i think that they are so i got the book but the answers are no so electric love nothing it's the back maybe i have to remember mine has water damage because i was at the beach trying to read it no i know that's sad well oh well that's fine but yeah i officially have the whole all four of them i wonder how many is going to be in this series um because i was originally going to make like a video for each book and like put them all in like a, like wait until i was done and then put them all in like a little like, like playlist on youtube um but i already finished this one that's been out this one just came out this one's about to come out and this one i'm currently reading i'm uh, not very far yet i i literally just got it today but today my time so February 9th just got today I'm hoping to finish it by tomorrow though to be honest because I'm already kind of moving quickly I am very excited for it this one's about Cassandra and Apollo um Cassandra I'm sorry Cassandra um I say Cassandra it's probably Cassandra but yeah but I'm excited for that one okay but um yes overall four out of five go the book I liked it a lot I think it really does add to the series I like that we stepped away from Demeter's daughter for like a minute um because as much as I love Persephone and Psyche I needed something else a little bit um and Katie Roberts is doing a bang up job in all honesty I love these books um these are books like if someone's like oh I'm just getting into like you can literally just hear the like all of the tabs as you can see this was like the first book i ever annotated <laughs> so like it's less and less um but no whenever someone's like just starting to read out i do recommend these books these books overall are really good and i like them a lot um but yes i'm gonna stop rambling now four out of five i'm gonna put that in a playlist i'm gonna make a playlist anyway for all of them um, i'm gonna take a photo with all four of them but you know um that's it so make sure you guys like and subscribe please it helps me out a lot more than you guys think um also leave a comment let me know which one which one your favorite one is or like if you got radiant sin if you're reading it let me know um all of this will be on my goodreads i do just like copy and paste my entire note packet that i make um after every book and i put it on my goodreads so you can definitely go there and check that out um that's in the link below as well but yeah, make sure you follow my social media. That's where I like to stay up to date on most of my stuff. I haven't really been very active recently. Um, I've been like stepping away from the internet a little bit, but I'm definitely coming back stronger than ever. And I'm filming a bunch of videos today. So I'll probably see a bunch of videos of me in this exact same outfit um, because that's how it's gonna go. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Yay.